So let's focus more on this word tawabun. Tawabun comes from bab tafa'ul and contains a meaning of mutuality or two-way action. Ibn Abbas says about tawabun, it is one of the names of their judgment and that is because people of the paradise will have gamed over the people of fire. It comes in a narration by Abu Hurairah and Bukhari Nabi Sallallahu said, so he asked people, Atadruna mal muflis? Qalu al muflisu fina mal la dirhama lahu wa la mata'a. So he asked, do you know who the bankrupt is? And the companion said, O Messenger of Allah, the, bank, the bankrupt among us is the one who has no dirham and no property. Prophet ﷺ replied, the bankrupt in my ummah is the one who comes on the day of judgment with salah and fasting and zakah, but he comes having abused this one, falsely accusing that person, wrongfully consuming the wealth of this person, spilling the blood of that person and beating this one so his virtues would have would be credited to the account of one who suffered at his hand. And if his good deeds fall short to clear the account, then some of their sins will be taken and cast upon him, then he will be thrown into the fire. May Allah SWT protect us from being in this state where we might be doing a lot of good deeds, but we would be encroaching upon the rights of others and mistreating them. And because of that, the good deeds will be taken away and given to this other person. And if that does not settle the account, the bad deeds of that person may be cast upon, uh, upon us. So may Allah SWT protects us from being this state. Coming back to the discussion on the word tawabun, so notice here, uh, in the hadith, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam describing a mutual relationship between the loss and the gain of good deeds. So the loss of the person losing his good deeds is leading to the gain of others in receiving those good deeds. So that's a mutual loss and gain happening here. Another explanation of the mutual loss and gain uh, as, it, uh, as an explanation of the word tawabun could be, uh, could be based on this other hadith. Narrated by Abu Hurairah in Bukhari, Nabi Sallallahu said, لا يدخل أحد الجنة إلا أوريا مقعده من النار لو أساء ليزداد شكرا ولا يدخل النار أحد إلا أوريا مقعده من الجنة لو أحسن ليكون عليه حسرة So none will enter paradise but will be shown the place he would have occupied in the hellfire if he had rejected faith so that he may be more thankful and none will enter the hellfire but he will be shown the place he would have occupied in paradise if he had believed so that he may be uh, so that may be a cause of sorrow for him again we see this mutual loss and gain going on here disbelievers will lose their spots in paradise which are gained then by believers instead some of them are even expand the meaning of tawabun to not only the loss felt by disbelievers, but to include believers that may have a sense of regret due to lost opportunity. They would have lost opportunity to attain more good deeds and thus to accumulate more reward. And they would regret this wasting of time in the world by indulging in activities that were meaningless and irrelevant with respect to the Akhirah. 